Good afternoon. This is Leo Vallant up from my afternoon nap. And I woke up thinking about all the boomer coldest that must be out there. There, there must have been millions of them. It's, you see, what happened was, well, the boomer generation is progeny of the glorious generation. Glorious, my ass, they were suffering from post traumatic stress syndrome. It's they grew up during the Depression and then they had to fight the friggin' World War II and getting bullets shot at their ass. So when they fucking had kids, well, holy Christ, man, what the fuck is wrong with dad and why is mom so nervous? It's there's a reason there were so many runaways. And then the Vietnam War, man, it's Kids were going underground to escape the draft. They just, I'm not going to register for the draft. I'm just fucking going to fucking New York. I'm going to L.A. I'm going to San Francisco. I'm just going to be a fucking hippie kid. And, well, that's what they did. Or, like, it's when the economic collapse, it's the recessions and all that. It's, fuck, you don't have a job. You do you're older than 18. You're not going to... Here, it's... Oh, I can live with my parents forever. Well, your parents... Oh, yeah, your parents are boomers. I guess you can live with your parents because they're cool. Eh, fuck you, kids, man. Boomers is now pejorative, but look, who who the... You, you stay at home for goddamn forever. That didn't used to happen, man. When you were 18, man, that glorious generation, you couldn't go back home to that shit. You had to find your own way, man. There is a cult. Now, yeah, it's, am I reduced to this? Oh, I don't want to join a cult. There's a thing called cognitive dissonance. It's, you might be pessimistic, but your brain, your psychology is innately optimistic. If you fall into a shithole, what you think about is maybe there's a watch and chain down here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's you end up in a cult, you go, you know, there is a God. There is spirituality. Life can be better, and it starts here. First, I gotta wash all those fucking dishes, and then I have to do a shift at the, in the laundry room. But you were spiritualized. You were you were following an idealized vision. And that's the only thing the collective consciousness pays any attention to is not fucking noise. But if you hit an archetypical ideal in your life, you hum and you glow according to the collective consciousness. Millions of us were out there. Where are you? It's, it, you know, if you were to flip a switch and every boomer that was a cultist were to glow like a neon sign, you'd go, holy shit. Well, am I the only bo boomer that has visions? Am I the only boomer who's ever had dreams? No, it couldn't be like that. It's, it's... Fellow coldest man, think back. Think back to what you believed then and, and see if you can bellow up that spark and turn it into a flame because, man, it's, look, there's global warming and there's, there's social disintegration. It's, it's, there's societal collapse. It's, it's all our ungrateful fucking brat grandchildren and shit that are calling us boomers as a pejorative. You know, fuck you all. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you all. Fuck. But all our darling, all our darling children and grandchildren, it's we want them to live despite their ingratitude. <laughs> We're the elders. We're the saints. And I, okay. Yeah. I'm pretending to be Messiah. Hey, man. Take me on. Boomer to boomer. No, where's the rule book that says there can only be one Messiah? Okay. 
What's a Messiah? What do I have to do to be a Messiah? World Messiah? That's a big fucking organization. That comes in gen. No one becomes a world Messiah in one generation. That's an institutional job. You set up the institution. I'll set up my institution. You set up yours, man. We're brothers. Brother boomers. We're all preaching spirituality. I'm kind of left-hand path, man. This transcendentalism all is one. I think that's nihilism. But if you're doing it, we're still brothers, man. It's I'm not going to go to war with you for that. It's like, it's the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So transcendentalists are my friends as long as we're facing so goddamn men, many enemies shoulder to shoulder. Right, bro? It's We can put our dispute off until after we conquer the world. Then we can see who... Uh, Drags in all the chips, right? <laughs> anyway, fuck, I don't want this to go along. That sounded good. Um, it's... Hell, I didn't even look at my notes. Oh, that's why this is the good video. I didn't look at my notes. God bless you all. And for me, bless you all.